Hi, today I want to explain how to build CMake project into Unreal and I want to do that by showing you how I build Jolt Physics into Unreal. I want to quickly clarify that uh, in Unreal there is a, a library which is called UE4 CMake that is a library that allow you to compile and build and link any CMake project into Unreal just by including it into the modules. But I didn't want to use that because I wanted to create a directory that contains all the modules so everything is self-contained into a single directory. The first step is the module configuration. The second one is the uh, command launching to make and build the library, in this case Jolt. And the third one is the linking that allow me to use the Jolt physics library. The, regarding the module configuration, I want to show you that here I have the Jolt directory. As you know, the modules can contain can be contained into subdirectories. Indeed, here I created the Jolt directory that contains the library Jolt that then contains the uh, Jolt library, the source code for the physics engine. And then the library MyMalloc that contains the library that is used by Jolt for handling the memory. And then finally we have the mJolt module. The reason why I am mentioning these modules is because uh, the first one, the mJolt module, is a standard Unreal module. It contains the U classes, U structs, U enum, and everything we are used to uh, use with Unreal. Then we have the library Jolt. Library Jolt and library MyMalloc are not standard modules, and these because they contain non Unreal project files. And these can be done by specifying the type of the module to external. By doing that, we are essentially telling to Unreal that this module does not contain Unreal uh, source files and then we have our own commands to build these files. And indeed, in our case, we will use CMake to build them. The first, the first step in order to build the, the Jot module and here we arrive to the second step, then make and building, uh, is uh, on this file at least actually calling the build library Jolt where I implemented the compilation of the Jolt library. The compilation uh, is split uh, into steps. The first step is the making and the, third, the second one is the building. This is usually uh, the way the CMake projects are compiled. There are two steps uh, most of the time. The making step is implemented here and all I am doing is generating a command. This command is basically uh, taking a bunch of settings uh, depending on my needs. So all the settings, for example, cross-platform deterministic is on and this all depends on, the, on my needs. Since I want to keep this generic, I will not go in depth why I am using these properties here. But all you need to know is that in, in order to generate the command to make the, comp the, the compilation of your project, you need to read the manual of the library you are compiling and compi and enabling uh, the features you need. Once you do that, uh, you also want to make sure that for each platform you define the correct builder and also the correct build type and so on. Once you get the uh, the the commands to comp to make the uh, the project, you can execute it using execute command sync. This is important to mention because execute command sync is a function that uh, that is not available on Unreal and it was quite difficult to uh, to understand how to create it. So essentially here we are telling Unreal um, 
to include this command into their own uh, into their own build so that when we compile Unreal, Unreal can execute these commands. Generally, uh, the command that we have here is a, a command line command. And in order to execute it, uh, we have this function that I can quickly show. So I taken this function from the UE4 CMake um, and basically this function here execute console commands. I will give this, uh, uh, this code to you so you eventually you can uh, quickly use this function if you need. But now let's go back to our original file. Now that we use make to, build, to, to, to generate uh, the project, we have to compile it. And again, we have to generate, to create the build command and then using execute command sync, we can again execute the command and then compile the Jolt library. At this point, we have the library and uh, on our case, the library is being compiled into the Jolt binary. Now that we executed the compilation and uh, we have the library, all we need to know is to complete the final step, which is the linking. The linking is quite simple and is composed by four steps. The first step is definitely adding the Jolt as dependency. And we are doing this by defining the path into the external dependencies. This is telling Unreal that any time a Jolt file changes, we need to re-trigger the compilation of this module again. And this is important. But also is important adding the other files uh, into, the, into the project. And we can do this by adding it uh, into the public include path. This, the third step is defining the correct ABI because we defined the header, but depending how we compile the, the library, the generated ABI is different, for example. Here we are generating and we are building the library with the cross-platform deterministic set to on because I just need that. So. Uh, by looking at the CMake of Jolt, I notice that when you enable that feature, it enables JPH cross-platform deterministic macro. It sets it to 1, and so I need to do it as well. I am basically telling Unreal to define this macro and setting it to 1. Not doing that will create a broken ABI, and a broken ABI creates uh, a lot of undefined behavior. And most of the time, these undefined behavior cause weird crash that are really difficult to debug. And most of the time, when you have this kind of crash, is because of a broken ABI. And basically, you just need to create a correct one. Creating a correct one is not that difficult, but requires a bit of time, to be honest. All you need to do is to open the library CMake file and figure out all the macros that it creates depending on the, on the features that you are enabled like I'm doing here and on the build on the build type and eventually even on the platform in any case once you defined all the definition and you have finally created a correct ABI for your platform and your build type the last step is just the linking and linking again is easy because you can add the library path to the public additional libraries Again, this depends on the library that you are compiling. For example, in Jolt, uh, it creates, uh, it puts um, the library under a different directory depending on the build type, at least on Windows. For example, for Mac and Linux, it does not do that, and I don't need to do to do that. So my lib path is quite simple, and in any case, it will go always inside the public additional libraries. And basically that's it. We did all the three steps that we needed that are essentially uh, confi configuring the modules, uh, compi making and compiling the library, and then linking it. 
once we do this we have the the binary uh, generated and when we launch the commands we can see that it builds something to mention about the mjolt is basically the interface that will allow me to use the jolt physics from other, other modules um, and serve like a bridge essentially all you need to know is that inside the mjolt build.ch uh, I am defining the library Jolt and library MyMalloc as dependency. And this does two things. First, adds it as dependency. So we are telling Unreal that we need to compile those two libraries, of course, using our own compilation commands. And then we are telling to Unreal to allow us to import all the compiled library, even if they are ex external. Here you can notice that I can finally include jolt slash jolt.h, which is a jolt physics library uh, header file, and as well the register types, and I can even call jph register types. And this means that everything works, and now I am able to use jolt physics into a real. On the next video, I will integrate the mjolt library into Unreal and we will start seeing things moving. And for now, it's everything. You will find uh, all the resources needed in order to compile any CMake project into Unreal. And basically, that's it. I hope that this is useful. Leave a like or leave a comment if you need any help. Thank you very much.